Hi, I'm, my name's Guy Coppich and I'm Chief Exec of People's Voice Media. People's Voice Media is a community development organisation that uses social media for community engagement and supports people to have a voice and that rages community and individual aspirations. Uh, we're doing lots of work with housing associations, in particular working with hard to, re hard to reach groups, people who are disabled or out of work or unemployed or even younger people, people who are generally marginalised and excluded. We put together a whole set of clips just to show you the sorts of things that we do. Sprouts today, Len. Huh? No, no beans, beans sprouts. No, not today. Oh, lovely. Well, that was our chippy lunch, and uh, we just hope that it encourages other people to get together on a Friday, maybe socialise and eat together. Yeah. I think everybody has fun, and I think that's good. And I think people mix with each other, and I think that's good as well. I think it makes them come out of the house, and I think anybody can do it. If people have got somewhere to go where they don't feel marginalised, I think really it's very, very good. How did I end up homeless? Well, I got divorced, I lost my job. One thing led to another, I ended up in debt. I got evicted from one house where I was living. We're a community development organisation that uses social media to give local people a voice uh, in order to challenge perspectives and also to raise their own individual aspirations. One of the ways we do this is support residents to undertake dialogue and have conversations inside different communities. Here are some great videos to show you the sorts of things that we've done with housing associations. The noise from that place is horrendous. You can't have your windows open, it's going boom, boom, boom. The service delivery process meant that we could actually use um, social media and use uh, People's Voice Media to work with the residents to do a letter. Um, but rather than traditionally having to write a letter and send it in, they were able to record it to camera and send it to our development officers who then could record a response. And they, in that way they could have a genuine dialogue. So we really used it as a both an engagement tool but also a consultation process to make sure that uh, resident views were taken into account. Some of the really innovative work that we've done recently is around skills training. So we work with local residents to raise their aspirations, improve their confidence and give them some really practical down-to-earth skills which will help them in employment and also into further education. It was really good to build up my experience for sort of future job prospects and I really enjoyed the fact that you can go out to meet people and uh, sort of, you know, build up my confidence by meeting different people. Um, well, I've been working here at Comptor as a community researcher, which means that I've been going out on the estate uh, meeting and greeting residents and talking to them about issues that they might have and generally trying to collect um, subjective information that can help um, Contour and the other organisations involved to basically help the residents. It's been exciting, enjoyable. Getting footage, uh, meeting new people, making new contacts for my future job. Yeah, I, I mean I, I'm going on to freelance work, you know, if it wasn't for PVM, the freelance job I'm about to do, even though it's all contour based, um, without PVM helping us by <laughs> giving us equipment to use, it just wouldn't happen. I've learned a lot of communication skills that I didn't have, um, and interviewing skills especially, and i found that kind of extends to your social and personal life as well. I'm more confident than I used to be. I think it's helped me immensely. Um, I'm going for a few job interviews now. Um, not they're not in the media, but they're, they're with people, and I've worked on my people skills a lot here. One of the really exciting pieces of work we've been working with with residents is around consultation and engagement. Community Porters has proved to be a really effective model at engaging with residents to get their views and to get their perspectives on, on, on the way that they see things. Some really exciting and innovative content on this. Uh, more money <laughs> to go shopping, to buy the healthy stuff. We are part of the Halfway Project. We are also skateboarders in the local area. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Condor Housing Association send a quarterly magazine out to their residents. Our brief was to gather public opinions of Inside Magazine. Talk Broughton was a partnership project between People's Voice Media, Salford City Council, Contour Housing and Great Places Housing. The idea of the project was that we would train local people in how to use uh, social media tools 
so that they could go out into their own community in higher Broughton to interview uh, other people in the area. We wanted to bore people with more surveys um, and we wanted to get a good response as well and something that was really real to the people in the area. It really is a personal way of gathering information. You really get to sort of the nitty gritty of what people's points of view are that perhaps they wouldn't feel comfortable writing on a form or wouldn't take the time to do. I really hope you found the, the work that we've been doing with housing associations informative and useful. Please get in touch and we can explore ways that we can work with you. Thank you.